Welcome to the Black Girl Bravado Podcast, your weekly fix for all things mental health and wellness. I'm Brittany. And I'm Germany. And not only are we besties, but we're your besties. You heard me right. It's homegirl vibes here. Get ready for the girls to dish the real, the raw, and the fucking funny. And listen, we may drag you, but it's always in love. Let's start the show, cuties. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. Hi. Hello. The, the blowing of the kiss <laughs> kills me every time. The blowing of the kiss kills me every time. How are you doing? I'm well. How's it going? It's going really, really, really well, actually. I've been feeling great. I've been feeling good. I'm on a high. Good. And I want to keep it this way. Obviously. What about you? I'm feeling good. Good. Feeling good. Yeah. Tired. I know. But good. But persevering. Mm hmm. But waking up. Exactly. And seeing another day. I am. I'm seeing it. I am seeing it. I know. Day. I know. I'm seeing another day. I'm, and I'm glad that y'all are here to see another day with us. Yes. Another Tuesday. Another Tuesday. Wow. Mm hmm. That's us what we do. Here every Tuesday is something. It's what we do. It's what we do. I was thinking about that too as I was getting ready this morning. What were you thinking? Just like, wow, we've really been doing this for a long time. Girl. We've really been doing this, and I wonder when we're going to stop. I, I don't know. know. I thought about that or this week, actually. I don't know when. When um, does the end of the road come? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Something to ponder on. When does the end of the road come? Yeah. Because this takes a lot. It does. Um, But anyway. But we're here today. The road is still going. We're here today. Um, And yeah. I think I want to mention at the top of the show that's usually tucked into the middle that some of y'all might be skipping is the importance of sharing the episodes. I know people who have been listening for a long time, probably you did your sharing in the beginning, um, which right. we appreciate. That's how we got to where we are right now. But if you're new here and even if you've been here, it is really important for you all to share that help us by sharing the episodes so that we can get these these um episodes into more ears because just to be completely transparent we work full-time jobs and all the additional pushing and marketing that you have to do if it's hard to find the bandwidth to do that when we're using our energy to produce episodes it's like it's hard and so we really appreciate when you all share the episodes because that helps still get it out there you yeah. know it helps to still get out there with us having without us having to create additional things <laughs> you know yeah, so help us help you. Help us continue to show up here. Show up here every week. We really appreciate it. We do. It does not go unnoticed. We see everything. It doesn't. And we love you for it. We love we you for real. As Monique would say. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. this is going to be a light episode. Y'all know we love a card game, a quest conversation game. Yes. Um, and we know y'all also love to get to know us deeper and better. Yes. And and understand the complexity and the nuance and the beauty of our friendship. And what way to do that but through conversation. Yes. So, there's this card game, conversation game called Hella Awkward. Last year, we were having our... Um, homegirls outside series where we're having showing up at the park and one of the homegirls bought this card game called hella awkward and i love it because these categories are like real talk questions you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. there's some that are like woo woo but these are this had to be created by a black person i don't know if it was it's for ages 18 and up ideally two to six players um, and it has 140 questions that are made to help you deepen your connection and just get to know each other better and have a good time while yeah. you're at it. Yeah. We brought this game on our last retreat. The girls enjoyed it. They were like, what was the name of that game we played? Hella awkward. You can get it on Amazon. Um, so there's different categories. Real talk, dating, sex, and relationships <laughs> are in here. So we have a few from every category and we're going to play. A Russian roulette style? Yeah. Okay. Am I going first? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love lavender, so here we are. That's dating. Your friend or sibling is dating someone, but they can do better. Do you say something or mind your business? It's definitely by a black person, y'all, because it says, yeah. <laughs> mind your business. Do you say something? Or if, it, if the space is created for me to say something, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. Yeah. 
I'm going to say something because I want to be honest. Now, when saying something, there's a way to say something with tact. Yeah. There's a way to say something. I think you need to be tactful. I think you need to read the room if they're if they want your opinion and if they cho- still decide to then don't be forceful you know at that point you said what you had to say you said your piece back up now if they're really in harm's way like you know they're getting harmed and hurt then that's when you do need to be forceful because ain't nobody gonna be harming and hurting my friend or family <laughs> you know yeah. but if it's someone making an adult decision and they want to keep rocking with it and, and i don't agree then i'm not gonna um push too much yeah that's the part that i have to remember to do step back say what i have to say and then step back because i will stand down (laughs) baby i will fixate on it i'm like i actually don't like that for you i actually don't like that for you and then i find that i need to tell you at every turn yeah you know and it's you still talking to that are you (laughs) are you still talking to them you texting that because i and then i gotta remind you what they did have you forgotten Have you forgotten? Because I didn't. I didn't. And I know you deserve better. And, you know, the truth of the matter is, to your point, yes. What does the space look like? You know, is there an invitation to share? But once I've been invited, baby, I'm making myself at home. Girl, once you've gotten your invitation to the party. I'm staying. Now, I think the reminders are helpful. Yeah, I think the reminders are helpful when the people are still cutting up. Like, if you got to do a gentle nudge, like... If, okay, say for instance, like a friend rekindles with somebody. Maybe they sp- sp- spun the block, spin the block. And the person, instead of c- spinning the block and being reformed, they spun the block and they still on bullshit. So when the friend comes to you and they're like, yeah, I'm talking to so-and-so again. And they're like, and he's not showing up or she's not showing up the way I want him to. Then being like, well, remember the last time when <gasps> I'm saying, I know. Uh, you know, I'm not surprised because the last time he was acting like that. It's not shocking. Yeah, you yeah, know, you can not, say that, though, but not like a remember, not the, remember last the last time. time not maybe, that, that's why I reworded it. Yeah. I'm not surprised yeah, because yeah. the last time, and then people are like, you're right. Oh, yeah, or are you surprised? Because you know how he be getting down. It has to It has to give, it has to give, it, it has to give like, I'm going to pull it back to you so that you can see what it is. Not yeah. necessarily I'm clocking tea. I'm really, what I'm doing is setting the tea in front of you so you could drink it. Right, that's because I do. want people to be honest. I want people to be honest, but also with me. And I want to be honest with other people, but I also don't want them to feel judged. Right. And sometimes so it's a delicate in, if, you, dance. if you come in with the remember the last time, yeah, then it it's given, wait a minute, he could be changing. He said, maybe that's not his issue no more. That's specific. And that's why you have to read the room. Yeah. Read the room. I don't think that you should come in automatically being like, well, remember the last time and you don't know if the person has changed. Mm-mm. I'm saying if they have it. Yeah. If they've shown evidence that they have it. And you have to hold their hand while you say it. And that's something that's else that you can do, right? It's like, can I hold your hand when I say this? That says, like, I'm about to tell you something you might not want to hear mm-hmm. and you might not be receptive to, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. And and honestly, depending on your relationship with the person, they might say, not today. I don't, I don't want, want my hand, hand held. held. <laughs> I don't want, I don't my, want hand. my hand held, girl. Let me be delusional. I don't want my hand held. Let me be delusional. And that's something else, right? It's like, maybe they're in the space or the season of delusion, like, Girl, I'm just venting. I'm not really looking for a solution. I know he still ain't doing what he's supposed to do, but I'm just here like for a good time, not a long time. Right. And it's like, okay, girl, well, do your thing. You actually don't need my my grounding and my insightfulness because right. you want to be somewhere else with it. Right. You don't want to be grounded. Right. You don't want to be pulled down. Right. And I can feel it. I can right. feel it. Right. But when we decide to get serious, right. and when we decide to get, you know, put on a different set of shoes, yeah. then I'm going to be right here with you. Right. You got to know, know the team. Yeah, you have to know. Yeah. I love that. Okay, your turn. I'm going to close my eyes. Okay. Do you believe, this is the relationship category. Do you believe in gender roles? Mm. Yes and no. I I believe in like fluidity with the gender roles. And I really, really what I believe in is doing whatever works for your relationship. That's what I want to I want to say. If gender roles work for you, then great. I believe them. In gen- if gender roles don't be- work for you, then great. They don't. I think for my personal relationship, um, we both do a little bit of everything. So, no, the non-binary the roles. Answer is no. I believe in non-binary. Yeah. 
<laughs> the rose is non-binary in my motherfucking house. Yeah. That, because honestly, I need my partner to be able to do everything, to be able to show up. I need us to do everything equally because there might be a time where you have to step in and do the cooking or the cleaning or the this. And there is a time where I might have to take the trash down and, you know, drop the car off to get service. I like everybody to do everything. That's yeah. what I like because, nigga, I don't want you looking at me to only be fulfilling the womanly duties of the house. Right. That's going to piss me off. I'm right there with you. I yeah. agree. I agree because of the things that are. I like to be taken are, care of, but I I like to be taken care of too. I like to be considered. I really think it comes down to consideration. What's your role when we're when we're considering each other? Because the things that are typically considered womanly roles, I don't want to do them all the damn time. Right. I don't want to be the only one thinking about the meals, and I definitely don't want to be the only one cleaning. Yeah, that would piss me off too if I'm the only one worried about those things because I'm the woman. Mm -hmm. Like nah. You want to eat, you know how to eat, you you know, know you can learn how to cook or know how to cook. And fold laundry and clean the house and make the bed and all of that. Anything right. domestic, I need the nigga to know Exactly, how to do. and I know how to go take a car to get service because I have been doing I've been it for a while. I've, yeah, I've been doing it for a while, so I'm not, I would love if you want to take it on, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't deter you from taking it on. But if I needed to, I would be able to get in there and tell them what needs to be done to the car. Yeah. That's why we have service packages. We have I, service packages. I love pack everybody being able to pull their weight equally. I actually don't. I, I like to get my car washed, but I'm not tripping. Sure, if you don't want to do it, I could go take it to the hand car wash. You right. feel me? And the same way, you might like a home-cooked meal, but if I'm not in the mood, go find you something to eat. I really appreciate flexibility. That's what I like. Yeah. And like you said, consideration and communication. All of that comes down to it. But no, don't be looking at me to just do things that you find domestic. And I'm not looking at you to do things that I find manly. Manly. I don't give a fuck. Right. I don't actually. And I, I feel like in this day and age, when everybody got to go to work, that's pretty antiquated. I know. If everybody's clocking in, everybody can do everything else. That's just my opinion. I agree. If you working, then you actually I agree. Come if home we and, all working, then we all working. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Baby. In and out of the home get in here if that's not fair um yeah uh-uh you're not gonna live a soft life while i'm living hard you're just not you're just not and that's all that is period and that's the way you tell that <laughs> the grandma what's well, the grandma say yeah and that's how you do that yeah. <laughs> step on you black <laughs> heifer you okay this is from the real talk category and it says how many times have you been in love mm. remember that lauren hill what is love what mean? is love I how think many love times is, have I yeah, been in how love? How many times have you been in love? Puppy in, included? No, we're not saying puppy. Adult. In it. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. How many times, however you identify love, how many times have you been in it? Twice. Oh. I'll say twice. Somebody's hurting out there. <laughs> Somebody's going to hear that if you like. Fuck you. I hope it's me. Nigga, I ain't going to say how and who. <laughs> how about you? Um. Uh, a six. A yeah, because this girl's a lover girl. She's every time. Mom in love. Head over heels. I'm obsessed. Right. <laughs> I'm in love. I'm obsessed. Yeah, I feel like. You've been in love six times? For what it's worth, I would say, yeah. Okay. I would say everybody that I've been with for the most part, because I be in like long term relationships. I haven't really had an extensive dating history, you know, where it's just like I get to know people. And like once I'm with somebody, I be with them for a, a while. So I would say, yeah, I've been in love with everybody that I damn near been with. Okay. So if I done been with you, you're lucky. God bless you. Let me see. Yeah. <sighs> dating. Monogamous dating or roster vibes. Mm. You know, I've learned I'm not a roster girl. Y'all can keep the rosters. People like, you need to be in having a roster. And a roster. You need to have a roster. You need to have a roster. One, I don't have that much time. I don't have that much energy. And, it, and it's not that many people that I like to have a roster. You know, it just mm -hmm. starts to be a roster and niggas texting the phone. I hate a what are you doing warrior. I would rather just find one that I like. I would rather find one that I like and then we just lock in. Now, for the sake of not idealizing and putting all my eggs in one basket, maybe a rotate rotation of two will be good. But the roster, like at one point I have a I had a roster of like four or five people going out on these dates juggling. I'm like, this is too much. Yeah. Yeah. This is too much. And I definitely ain't. 
fucking them all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. TBH, I'm just not. Yeah. I'm not a roster kind of girl either. I just, that was a perfect segue. I'm just not. I've never been. I've always been an LTR kind of mommy. I've always been in a relationship. Now, I will go into my back pocket. I keep a, I keep a few on me. <laughs> I keep a few on me, but I usually just keep them on the reserve. Not not lately though, not lately, you know, not in the last four years. Now you got to do this. Not in the last four years, but before that, I would keep a few on me. I would keep somebody that I could just pull out in times of need. It, it, the time of I'm need, being completely honest with you. The time of need is so funny. But I haven't found that I've needed that in God is many good. moons. God, God is good. God, God is, is good. good. God is good. The roster, I just, it's not for everyone. It's not. And I and I love a girly who does get out there and they do their thing and, you know, all of that. But the way I'm set up, I feel I like those can't. for those girls, dating is a sport. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, listen. I'll start to feel like w- the expectation, like, what do you want from me? Once That's what it to starts to feel and- like. Once you're hanging out, like, and you're vibing and you get past, like, date two to three. Now it's giving it's like, something what, has now to be what, exchanged. What, 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 what? <laughs> something has to be exchanged, and I'm just not in the mood of, like, popping pussy for I'm definitely people. never in the mood for popping pussy for I mean, multiple. Jesus. So this, this one. This one pops. For and what? then it's like nowadays, and I, I kind of understand it partially. You fight me if you want, I guess. But men aren't spending their money for nothing. Everyone has a goal. Everyone a has goal. a goal. Everyone has a goal in a mind. Goal. Everyone has a goal in mind. So they get to spend their money on all these dates. They're going to want They're going to want something in return. And that's when we're going to be looking at each other like the Diddy me. Yeah, because the truth of the matter is women want experiences in a good time. Men want physical. They want physical for sure. So it's an exchange. It, there's an exchange happening. And after so many dates, yeah, we're, we're, otherwise it's giving robbery. It's giving robbery. <laughs> and so. I, I'm not into robbing nobody. I don't want to rob nobody. I don't want to take nobody nothing. And, and you, I don't want also, you to take nothing from me. I have to have an emotional connection with you. There has to be something other than like you've taken me out on a few dates and now I, there's this obligatory fuck that happens. Same. That's how I, I, I feel, that's how I feel I too. I'm like. What do you, I don't feel emotionally connected to you. I have to be stimulated mentally, you know, obviously I have to be physically attracted to you. There's a combination, it's a combination of things. It's more than us just going out, having a few activities. If you think the activities and the wine and dine is what's going to get me out of my panties, I'm going to tell you right now. Save your money. Yeah, yeah. Definitely Save your not money. wet, babe. Because that's up. not real. All, I'm, I'm a good time girl. I like to go out and do things and experience things. So that will scratch that itch. But your itches won't be scratched. <laughs> You'll be itchy. You'll be going left. So I'm like, you know. No, no, I can't. And, that is, and because I, I am considerate, I think about that too. I'm like, I know the dating game and the serial dating and shit. I don't want to play with nobody and I don't want nobody to play with me. So honestly, at this age, when I'm, if something's not a vibe, I'm like, it's not a fit. Save yeah. your money, save your time. You go your way, I go my way. And you can get on off the roster. Yeah. Agreed. No roster girls here. No. Okay. I'm not a rasta. It's my turn? Oh, it's your turn? Mm-hmm. Okay. No, actually, it's your it's turn. It's my turn? I think it's your turn. Okay. We're figuring this out. Right. <sighs> Rake these in order of priority. Personality, looks, and, and uh, money. Money? Yeah. And the money. Personality, looks, money. Yeah. Rank these in order of priority. Personality, looks, and money. You. Oh, me. Um. <laughs> It damn near is in the order that I needed to be. Nah, personality. Ooh, money is always touchy. Personality first for sure. Because I feel like personality looks can grow on you depending on how they look. Now, you can't be a mud duck, babe. It can't give gutta. <laughs> it can't give gutta, gutta. It can't give just completely dead, ugly nah, in the face. Yeah. But, you know, I would rather your personality be like fire. Cause that's gonna keep me interested. Definitely, because like, in if you term. find him in a, in a dud, yeah, it's not giving what you think. It's but giving. I mean, I would say personality, looks, and then money. It's in order for me. Okay, I'm hoping uh, there's some other things on the list too. Like these are just the top three. The thing is, the thing is, the thing is, I think because I'm a person, uh, I have my own money. I will hope that you just have enough to take care of yourself. I'm not really looking for like, can you take care of me? Because I'm taking care of me, right? I know that I'm going to always be good. Now, I definitely want you to be able to contribute and bring something to the table. You can't, you don't got to be balling out of control, but you definitely can't be broke. Now, I'm not saying your personality is going to trump you coming with nothing to the table because you can't even get next to me if you ain't got something going on that's generated income. Listen. And that's just how I feel about it as a mature girlie. 
that's important. I don't like when people try to make it seem like, oh, you're so worried about money. I'm worried about being able to sustain. Sustainability is that's what I'm worried about. I don't want an. I don't want an. Um, not an asset. I don't want a liability. Seriously, I want an asset. So not to take care of me, but to contribute so that we can grow and elevate together. Yeah, that's what that comes down to. I work too hard. Yeah, I don't need a chic. I'm not looking for. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes the chics be ugly. <laughs> Okay, bless you. Ugly, stinking. So for me, personality looks many. <laughs> I'm trying to think of my life, my life, my life. I almost want to say personality money looks. Again, not to take care of me, but it's critical. Yeah, yeah. It's critical that you have enough to operate as an independent adult in the city that we live in. Maybe, yeah. Maybe personality, look, money, look. I just, the looks, once now, looks not, is going down know, to the know, bottom, know, it's just like, ugh. But the thing is, because you don't got to be fine. You don't got to be fine. You just got to be fine to me. Attractive. You, you just have to be attractive. attractive and good looking because good looking is different than fine. I feel like fine is a different level. Like most people ain't working with fine. That's okay. But like, are you attractive? Do you have some nice features? And that's what I'm you saying. You know, we'll go when down to the features. With attraction, specifically for a male, women don't have this benefit. But with men, you don't, you, your looks don't even have to make up the majority of the attraction. Cause you know, we be seeing a little, Energy. energy it'd be energy like okay i see what you got going on there i see the swag i see the way you handle yourself the way yeah you the way in you room. move in a room yeah. full of books you're a boss you know yeah. we're looking at multiple things yeah and it's like that's a, that's I'm what it needs to be it I'm needs attracted. to be attraction it's it needs to not be looks it should be attraction because the looks is like seems very superficial women we have to have looks and we ain't getting by with energy unfortunately no baby. we have to captivate them with what we got the external has to be captivating. If you don't got that, baby girl, I don't know. But with the man. The pretty privilege. Have you seen that conversation happening? The pretty privilege? Uh -huh. What about it? I, this I, girl was like coming on the, on, on the internet talking about how can y'all talk to people about what pretty privilege? You don't know what we go through. And people were shutting her down in the comments like, who is we? <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. I would hate to be the person who came on the internet feeling like I had something to say. And then people in my comments oh, coming they were from telling me, her that she wasn't pretty. Exactly. They were oh. like, you don't have a dog in this fight. And I hate that. I don't Same. like when people do that type of shit. But they were like, girl, who is we? Wow. She was like, y'all don't know what we go through. And they were like, who is we? Who is she talking about? Who said that? Ah, they ate her up. Anyway, it was Damn. very sad. Anyway, so, yeah, when, when it comes, when men... Luckily, y'all don't have to be hella cute. Now, yeah. again, be together, we're not doing though. mud. We're not doing mud. No, no, no. We're not you doing duck and mud. mud. You can't be in the mud. But y'all work a little differently. Yeah, we work a little differently, rather. Yeah. Okay. Close your eyes. Take your pick. Let's get it, get it, get it. Get it, girl. Get it, get it, girl. Sex. Ooh. Nude picks, yay or nay? Ooh. I hate when a nay asks for a pick. It's actually going to be a nay. It's, <laughs> it's going to be a nay for me. A man say, send me a picture and I'll be sending a selfie. <laughs> you actually got to yeah, I'll be this. like, oh, I sent this one. A man asked me for a picture. I sent a selfie and I said, this hasn't even hit the internet. <laughs> you are the first to see it. I'm yeah. not sending no new pictures. I'm so sorry. I've sent them before. Have I sent them before? Not completely. No. A not completely or like a little... Yeah, you know, an angle. Yeah, sorts. a little something or No, another. I'm not sending you a new pic. But I'm not sending... I'm, you're going to have to experience me in real life. I can't Same. send you a photo. It's going to be IRL or we could get on FaceTime. Oh. Like, yeah. But no, I, FaceTime is... FaceTime is cool. And you better not take No screenshots. If you screenshot, I'm on your ass. No, but like, if I'm on the phone with my man and it's like, I'm out the shower, you know, I might do a little type of thing but i'm goofy like that so i wouldn't even be taking it serious i never take the sensual seductive route it's not my ministry i'm not good at it so i definitely can't set up a phone and take a photo i know but if you're on facetime maybe it ain't even your man let's say it's not your man like your boyfriend someone you're talking to i always get thrown off guard if the nigga's like show me a titty or something i'm no, like no. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> <We're at the laughs> no. i'm glad you're you doing this shit on purpose baby <laughs> <laughs> The hell? 
What are no, you? No. What are you asking me? No, no, no. Actually, you cannot ask me for a titty photo. Don't if I'm ask. Not, you talking about if it's not your man, it's just somebody on Facetime. Are you somebody crazy? Somebody you're t- date talking to. No, talking to you don't talking. get no news. You don't even get a Facetime titty photo. I mean, if uh, I'm not pulling my titty out, if I'm not really date, if if we haven't even fucked, we no, just you, dating. You probably we fucked. We together. No, I'm telling no, we, dig- <laughs> no, we together, baby. We together. No, no, we together <laughs> in your mind. You know nowadays. That rule, that oh, rule has, we... that golden rule has changed. <laughs> I want to let you know. Baby, this one's brass, bronze. I'm letting you know, if you get into these streets today. No, if we, then, and that's different than if we, okay. If, if we've already had sexual intercourse, then yeah, you could see a titty because you didn't already had, we didn't have sex. I know. But, but I'm talking about like. I know you're talking about, you're talking about somebody that you haven't even been Yeah, with. you're not getting no photos from me, actually. If we going back to the original question, there's no attachments being sent. No attachments. No attachments. No, no invisible. No, no, there's no attachments. I'm not sending you no pictures, nigga. Now, I've seen some, I've seen some things <laughs> No, before. I have, but it was to my man. Yeah. Thank to you my to man. my man. Yeah, it's always gone to my man. Yeah. Period. But in this day and age, I probably ain't even seen it. Yeah, in this day and age, baby, we just see me at home. You would have had to catch me five years ago. Yeah, see me at the house. I ain't got no picture for you. I, now I'm feeling crazy. Yeah. This is from the relationship category. Would you marry someone with a low credit score? Yeah. I feel like we could work on your credit score. That's something that's so like... Credit scores go up, down, ebb, flow. You open up some shit, shit drop 30, 40 points, and then it'll come up. But again, you got if you got a low credit score, do you got money in the bank? Shawty, what you drink? Yeah, you can't have low credit and no money. No, low credit and no money ain't going to work. Because I can't be putting shit in my name. You got to be able to pay for it in my cash. name. I'm not co-signing. And what I can do is make you an authorized user with no card. And now? Exactly. <laughs> no, you don't get a card. That's you can become work. an authorized user. Authorized, no, no handle. And then you can... um. Reap the benefits. You can re- reap the benefits of me having a good credit score. You know, I've done that. Not for a man, but I have done it for a family. I've done that for a man. I and will for do my it for a man. If it was my man and we trying to build and I need you to get your credit up, I will gladly make you an authorized user, but you will not be getting a card. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you all the funniest story. When me and Andres first got together, which I was really wilding early on. Not early on, but maybe I had a feeling he was going to be my man for life. Anyway, I had opened up a card. This was a deep feeling. Yes. It was in the gut. <laughs> cool. Deep down in there. So I had opened up a credit card during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And mind y'all, me and Andres got together during the pandemic. This was in at the end of the year. Mm-hmm. So um, we had already been together for, for the majority of the whole year, 10, 12 months, basically. And uh, I had opened up a credit card and I was like, I'm going to make you an authorized user, right? But I didn't have intentions on giving him the card. Or if he had the card, he wasn't going to use it. Um, and he came over and seen the card and took the card, y'all. And he started using it. And I was like, Argh. I was like, I can't believe he's using it. He's using Not the I motherfucking card. Because I had made Wook an authorized user as well. But she definitely ain't getting the card. Wook, yeah. will, ooh, Wook will have me turn. Yeah. Upside down, you're turning Turn to me. me. But yeah. listen, yeah. so he took the card and he was using it and put his stuff on it. And I was like, I was getting anxious because I'm like, I've never been in this situation. How, what do we do? But he was, luckily, he was paying it like the next day. He was just paying, putting his stuff on it and paying it. Putting it on it. So yeah, credit built, awareness. Trust was built. Yeah. Trust was built. But before that, I had never. But I, w- I would get with someone with a low credit score. But yeah. you got to have Skrilla. You, you definitely you have, have to have Skrilla. Skrilla. You got to have your own money. And I would do the authorized user to, to help my man. Yeah. To get to where he needs to be. Because if I had a low credit score and I come dating the man who got an 800, help I me would, out. Yeah, put me on yours. Help me. Or, help. or if you don't put me on yours, put me on game. Teach me. Teach me. Because I, I've had a low credit score many, many moons ago. Right. A long time ago, but it's it's you're able to get you're able to come back. You can, and there's t- tips and tricks, and one of them is being made an authorized user on someone who got their shit together. Yeah. That's one of the ways that can help boost you. Now I don't know how much it boosts you, but I know that it can help. Yeah, it definitely helps. Okay, are these the? That's the oh, use. Okay, this is cute and fun. Actually, we're gonna take a quick break. We are, and then we'll be right back. Yes. Okay, girls, we're back and we're getting right back into it. Oh, why am I closing my eyes and I'm handing them to you? <laughs> oh, no. We're just dating. Would you date someone with kids? Why or why not? Ugh. Um. 
Oh, wait, let me answer. Oh, yeah, my bad. Damn, yeah. shit. Your question. Um, I would say, yeah, at this age, yes. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm 35. A lot of these niggas going to have kids. Now, there's stipulations. Yeah. It can't be no newborn. It can't be a baby. If it's an infant, I'm questioning. Why didn't it work out with the baby mama? It's still too sticky, still too new. I don't want to be caught up in that. And the mother needs to be active and present. And it doesn't need to be a lot of kids. Preferably one. You've had one kid for me. Okay. And I love that too because then you're taking the pressure off me. You got a kid, you know? Until they get to one in the build with you. I know. And we can I talk about the building later. But. I want one with you, baby. Um, For me, I think if I was dating at this time, yeah, I would be okay with kids. It's not my preference. It's not my preference at all. I, I would, would prefer take a clean you. man. Yeah. No, it's not, no baggage, baby. Yeah, I prefer a man with no kids. I prefer a man with no kids, but... I understand. I can't be picky like that. Yeah. That's really slimming down an already slim pool. pool yeah. I mean, come on. We want the niggas to... It's, come on. Yeah. No, I get it. I think that if I was dating, like I said, and a man had kids, the child would have to be at least three. My 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 cutoff was, was no, my cutoff was two. But I feel oh, like two? three three would be the ideally. I hope they in school. Yeah, kindergarten. Hopefully they in TK kinder on their way. And y'all been co-parenting for a few years. And by co-parenting, I don't mean living together. No, I want the kid People to be, be yeah. Like, oh, five we, would be really good, and y'all have not been together since the together. child was two. Three years apart. Okay. Three three years, that's that's ideal. And the mama got to have a man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the mama got to have somebody already. The mama got to have a man. Preferably the mother's married. Yeah, and y'all co-parenting. Then that's perfect. It needs to definitely give a healthy co-parenting situation. You don't want her, she don't want you type of vibe. We just here for the baby. And then I could be here for the baby. Yeah, I could be I'm there a, for the baby. Yeah, I'm additional support. That's I could definitely like. be there for a baby as additional support. Bonus mother, not primary mother. Yeah, bonus, bonus. means extra. Bonus something gives, on top. Bonus mom gives auntie energy. I could be that baby. I could be that baby bonus. <laughs> I could be that baby auntie cloaked in the title of bonus mom. <laughs> it has to be auntie coded. Auntie, auntie coded, coded. Yeah, but bonus mom I presenting be, as bonus mom, but auntie coded. Yeah, I feel you. Is it my turn? But y'all do what works for you. The grandma is the baby. <laughs> <sighs> we gonna take care. Real talk. Are you living the life you've dreamed of? Ooh. Are you living? No. <laughs> hey, it's simple. It's simple. No, I'm not living the life I dreamed of. What is the life you dreamed of? Well, I think back to like when I was much younger, I dreamt of being like a lawyer. That was really important to me. That's obviously changed. You should have been one. I know. I could have been. I could have aspired for different. I'm not going to say more. I could have aspired for different, but I would have had to have a different personality, not personality, perspective on what it means to like invest early, like especially in education right not being like okay i'm ready to do something and get, get out of here, here yeah and not i would have had to have a different mindset of like okay you're gonna be in it to win it so i think i could have been living a different life for sure the life that i have is really good i will say that and i'm learning to do the things that i desire that i want to do that are that makes sense for right now i was talking to andres the other day and i was telling him i'm really happy with the life that we are building it might not have been the life that I dreamt of, but the life that we are deciding to actively build every day, I'm very, very, very content and pleased with it. You know? So that that is what I'll say. I don't, I'm not living the life that I dreamed of. Yeah. But sometimes the life that you dream of is not the life that you need. Yeah. I think I'm living the life that I need at the moment. And to what you said, I'm actively working on incorporating things that make it feel like dream like yeah you know yeah but when you going to work every day you know, i know but even, like even that i even now i feel like a nightmare <laughs> <laughs> but even that i feel like there's elements of like doing things outside of work that helps cultivate exactly. that you, energy that's like, important really and that's why time. i have to do that ain't no way i'm gonna just be going to ain't work no way. there's no way that i can just my life can only be work that's the part that makes me feel like, oh, my God, I'm not living a fulfilling life. This is not what I dreamed of. I have to have balance. And you got to fight to incorporate that because you can be so tired and drained from work that you just don't do nothing. Yeah. It's your turn, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> not me spreading them for myself. Right. I'm like, what are you doing? 
<laughs> and why do I keep closing my eyes? <laughs> Loosen the grip. Should relationships be easy? Mm. I keep wanting to answer every time you say. <laughs> Go ahead. I wouldn't say they'll be 100% easy, but they definitely shouldn't be hard. Yeah. I think they should have elements pro- mo- mostly composed of ease. Yeah. You know, I don't want to be battling with you. I want to feel like I can be myself. I want to feel like we're coexisting and we're living together and we're having a good time. And when there's hard situations that we're faced with and we get through those, but they need to be primarily easy. I don't want it to feel like a fight. Yeah, agreed. Um, definitely don't think they should be easy, but didn't, shouldn't be an ordeal. I don't want to be bear crawling through this bitch with you, baby, because no. I will actually get off the war, the battlefield. Quickly. I'm going to get out. I'm going to go ahead and ask to be discharged. <laughs> I'm leaving this war. I bid you adieu. Yeah. I will be out, out this I'm bitch. I'm putting down my hat. I will be done. Yeah. So, I'm going to put it down. And I feel like relationships that are composed of ease and that have the element of easefulness in them are very happy. You know, it's like we are coexisting. There's no bullshit, no drama. Now, things are going to occur where you're going to have to let me squeeze it out. But that, that should be like an anomaly every now and again. Few and far between, if you will. Yeah. I don't even want to do that all the motherfucking time. I don't want to let me squeeze all the time either. I'm I want to let me squeeze life once be a life year or so. Life be life. And so, you know, there's things you got to get through. But yeah, I, I every now and again, yeah. n- n- really rarely is what I like. Am I spreading? Or you? <laughs> I'm doing the spreading. I'm doing the bending. Mm. A freaky spicy one. You see, okay. there's not a lot of them in here. I know. <laughs> okay, sex. Would you accept below average sex if everything else in the relationship was perfect? Damn. Perfect. <sighs> Low key, um, yeah, yeah, I would have to. I feel like if everything else was ideal and the sex was just like just under. You know, my expectations, I'll, I'll help you, you learn. You're your road. I will, I will help There's you. There's tools and tools. Yeah, I mean, that's when communication comes into, into like, play. You know, like, babe, I like this, or can we try that? We're going to have to actively work. But what if work. they just can't? Damn. Yeah. The, sometimes it's not communication. It's, it's skill. You, yeah, it's what you got. Yeah, the, the package. you're working with. Yeah, can't work the middle. Uh. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I would. I, I would hope that if the physical, the actual act of sex was below average, that the intimacy was above average. You know, like the touching, just the closeness, the affection. I would hope that that was like really, you know, we're firing on all cylinders. And it says, and since it says, oh God, the 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 idea of having sex and not having an orgasm just pains me. That would eat me up from the inside because now everybody's stopping short of an orgasm. Just when you think you're going to come, I'm getting up. It's over for you, too. Yeah. I'm actually cutting it, cutting it off right But what here. if he said, maybe I can't do it, but I'll bring in some a toy or something. Oh, I was going to say, you can't bring in nobody Not- else. <laughs> you can't bring nobody else. Not nobody else, um, but, you know, a tool. Yeah, if a tool was brought in. It's just as long as you're getting it. Yeah, if a tool was brought in to help make the experience better, then that's great. Again, communication. Let's talk about it. What's not working? Let's find something that does work. I would say yeah. I would say yeah. What about you? I'm going to say yeah. Because honestly, if I had only had the good sex and all the other things be weren't there, then I would be stressed. I don't even want to fuck you. Yeah, exactly. Now, Coochie ain't wet. Yeah, it's not. So, to have... Ooh. Everything else above average, everything everything else perfect in the relationship and the sex is just below average. I'll be okay, cause I have tools. Maybe you be off to work or gone. I be taking myself. I be glitching. You know you doing shit on purpose, purpose baby. baby. <laughs> Nigga, ain't no problem. Man, I be taking care of it. By the time you come home and get ready to do what we did, I done already been good. Yeah, let's go. This is for you. Yeah, <laughs> I done got mine on the back end. On the front end, <laughs> it's, t- <laughs> it's taking care now of. Now keep taking care of home. <laughs> okay. It's my turn. Oh, I just yeah. pulled. You know, you're doing it. Actually, is this now a good time for a break? Yes. A break. Before we wrap this up, we got to take a quick break. Yeah.
Okay, y'all. So we got a few more questions we're gonna ask, but I'm gonna ask you a question. Have, Have you, you shared, shared this, this show? episode? Have you left a rating and a review? Yeah. If not, now's your chance. Please share. Please rate. Please review. Please do what you need to do to make it do what it need to do. Period. We're going to ask a few questions and then we'll transition. Okay. Here you go. Close your eyes. What have you sacrificed for your relationship? In the past, maybe. Yeah. Um... I have sacrificed a lot, unfortunately. Oh. I mean, not a lot. I won't say a lot, but in the past, I've sacrificed maybe doing things that I want to do. Yeah. I, I think that's probably the one of the biggest sacrifices I've made. Um, doing something that I want to do at the time and in a relationship, not being able to do it. Yeah. What else? I really haven't sacrificed too much because once it gets to feeling like I'm sacrificing, I leave. Mm. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not really sacrificial, and that's um, can be seen as selfish to some people. But I just feel like, why do I have to? Yeah, you don't have to. I think when I, you I get... feel like there's so many relationships that I've seen where people haven't had to sacrifice outside of. I know there's a bit of sacrifice that comes with being in relationship, but. Not anything that makes you feel like, you know, you're down and out. Yeah. And I, I think that in the early stages of a relationship, we've we've cloaked sacrifice or sacrifice has been like we've worn it as a badge of honor and we be riddled. It be riddled in struggle love. And it's like you actually don't have to be sacrificing too prematurely. Just get up out of there. If it don't work, it don't work. Now, when you locked in, invested with somebody, then, yeah, some sacrifices have to occur. It's just a matter of like. Ebb and flows, or ebb. Not ebbs and flows, but compromising. Where it's like, I give this because I know that eventually you're going to have to, you know, it's like we go back and forth and giving for each other and maybe not always doing what we want or something that we desire, but we know it's for the greater good of the dynamic. I've been in some things where I've had to sacrifice and it's like, I was actually doing too much. Yeah. I was doing too much, you know? And I and I think that that's something for uh, the younger girlies the as big sisters aunties even if you will depending on how old you are when you're listening to this if somebody's like 17 unless they 10 i'm not your auntie 17 you wouldn't be 20 years older than him you wouldn't be an auntie at 20 years older than somebody i'm not 20 i'm actually 19 19 the girl is turning by the time y'all hear this the girl will be 36 i'm the oldest so i ain't nobody auntie at 18 that's how i'm spinning it you, I'm you not your spend, auntie. Who, okay, Jackie Ina. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> whatever you, whatever you want to call us, homegirls, big sisters. What I'm saying is, for the younger girls who are listening to this, whatever age you are, don't feel like you need to struggle with somebody or sacrifice too much of yourself. You are a young person. Yeah. Okay. Dating. If you are giving too much, walk away. Mm-hmm. Once you feel like too much has been given, and I feel like okay, I, I've done what I can do, get your ass up and leave. Trust me, it won't be the last one. He won't be the last one. Period. That's my thought on that. Oh, my stomach is going crazy. I have not ate. Okay, real talk. When was the last time you cried? I feel like I be crying all the time when I'm on TT, TikTok. You know, things there. Dogs. Not just dogs, but there's just certain things that like bring me to tears. I'm not like. Eh taking my soul to the laundromat but you know tears are flowing the last time I've actually cried I can't remember like when it was something pertaining to myself it's been a while but there's so many touching stories on TikTok you know I've seen this lady who was doing DoorDash and she was a hundred dollars I know a thousand dollars short from her rent I see no her. she was a hundred dollars away oh, from her and rent. they sent her a thousand somebody sent her a thousand dollars and I was like yeah. praise God and she was so thankful to God for blessing her with that you know and I was just like he will do it. What about you? When's the last time you cried? Baby, I ain't cried in a minute. <laughs> Thank God. Because yeah. there was a moment when I was take constantly. Yeah. I haven't cried. Good. I don't know if that's a good thing. I know some people are like, you should let your emotions. I'm not a crier like that. I'm usually, if I'm crying, I'm down, down bad about something. And um, I haven't felt down bad about anything in a while. So that's a good thing. Good. I've been crying tears of joy, crying and laughing. Good. Yeah, that those are the type of tears I've that I like. I've been crying and laughing Those lately. are the type of I've tears I've been crying and laughing, and for that, I'm thankful. Thank God. I love a good laugh mm. cry. A belly aching, I am in tears kind of laugh. Yeah. 
Okay, girls, this game was really fun. I really love when we can just take a little time to have an easy conversation, easy episode. This was cute.